So I wanted to make this video because I am currently pursuing grad schools and I am looking all over the internet for specific programs that I'm interested in to see a student perspective of how it actually went and what was it like, what are some of the courses, what was the vibe, all those kinds of things, and I feel like they don't really exist. <laughs> it's really nice to have some kind of personal insight on a university before you go there, so I wanted to make this video to provide some insight to other people. So anyway, I got to do a lot of marine research at Florida State University. Coming into the university, I was actually an engineering major. I totally switched up my plan, as many people do during my undergrad, and I ended up eventually finding marine biology, and I found out that Florida State is pretty renowned for its marine research. It doesn't seem like it's very known, the actual marine lab for Florida State is pretty separated. It's an hour away from the university, but there are some pretty incredible professors and some pretty incredible research that occurs, and I want to shed some more light on that and the opportunity surrounding outside of the marine lab all throughout the university for getting involved in marine biology. So really quick before I begin, if you're interested in marine biology or marine biology careers, research, or anything related to those topics, then I definitely encourage you to subscribe to this channel because I love to make videos like that. And I will definitely be creating a lot more now that I have lots of free time before I go to the Philippines. So anyway, we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is courses and actual majors that are available through Florida State. And there actually is not a marine biology degree, which is why I think many people might not realize that there's a lot of marine biology research that occurs at this university. I actually really loved that I was majoring in biology as opposed to something more specific like marine biology because I feel like a biology degree you can do many, many things with and I feel like I get really got a holistic perspective of science and different things within biology. I feel like that was really valuable and I also, I was considering vet school. I was for a very, very short moment considering med school and realized that a biology degree can take me to a lot of those places. So as far as the actual research at the university, this is an R1 school. And what that means is that they have a lot of research activity. So there's so much opportunity to get involved with actual research. And there happens to be a lot of marine biologists at this university that are very high caliber, very, um, very well-known scientists, which again, I don't think people, I mean, maybe if you're pursuing grad school and you're really starting to read a lot of publications, but as an undergrad coming into it, I had absolutely no idea that this was a great school for marine biology. And so just to kind of support that this is a really incredible research university, it, last year, the university pulled in $250 million in research funding, which like broke a record for the school, that's a lot of research projects that are happening. That means that there is $250 million circulating just the professors at the university for doing research. So that means there's gonna be a lot of positions available for undergraduates to become a research assistant um, and actually get paid to do that. That also means that there's going to be a lot of opportunity just to participate in projects that are occurring. The next thing I was gonna talk about is actual access to the professors. So this is coming from more of an undergraduate standpoint, but I found that as freshman, sophomore year, it was kind of difficult to actually get to the professors have um, great access to them. If you're actually going to office hours and having um, more of a one-on-one -on -one relationship, you're going to have a much greater opportunity to get to know them and have an opportunity to possibly volunteer with them or work with them in any capacity. But when you're taking those gen ed classes, it's really difficult. It's a really big, um, really big university. So some of the gen ed classes, you're gonna have classes that are up to like 300, um, 150, 100. They're pretty big classes and it's definitely difficult to find a personal connection with a professor. Although if you go to office hours a lot, you can definitely still do that. But if you are a junior or senior and you're taking these higher level classes, which are much more specialized, 
um, things like our experimental bio or experimental biology class where we did fishery modeling or I'm trying to think of other very specific classes. I had an advanced invertebrate zoology course with that was only 20 to 30 students. Um, these were courses where I was working with marine biologists and had the opportunity to ask them over like so many questions and kind of like get to know bits of their career as I was taking their course with them because I had lots of opportunity to talk with them. So once you get to those higher level courses, you definitely have a lot of opportunity to communicate and get to know a lot of professors. So as far as like training within the program to become a marine biologist, um, some programs offer some really great field work um, and opportunities to really get hands-on skills. There really isn't too much opportunity with that specifically. You kind of have to do a lot of that on your own. Um, although the experimental biology classes really give some great opportunity to go out in the field and do research. Um, actually, I mean, my, my those two classes, experimental biology and advanced invertebrate zoology, I did actually get to go um, into the field, which was really, really cool. And I didn't even like know that was a possibility, but we actually went snorkeling and collected a lot of specimens, brought them back to the lab and um, basically, tried to identify them and um, document them and ended up writing some reports and doing some experiments with those um, invertebrates that we brought back to the lab for the advanced invertebrate zoology course. That was super cool and did give me a lot of hands-on skills for marine biology. So the um, experimental biology class, this is like can vary a lot. Mine was just focused on fishery modeling and different types of modeling you can do with um, different programming tools. So I was basically trying to come up with my own model myself. And this is something you have to do as a scientist. This is a great skill to learn. So as far as opportunities for involvement with marine biology, there is so much. This is what I really get to, um, I really want to acknowledge for this school because there is just a great, great ability to actually get and do some hands-on research, which was so exciting. That was my favorite part of being at Florida State. So some volunteer opportunities that really got my foot in the door for marine research at the university. One thing that I personally had experience with was the Shark Lab. So they are constantly doing surveys, especially during the summer. And they always need volunteers because it is a not a one-man job. You definitely need a lot of people on the boat. So for that experience, I got to go out on the water. I got to go tag sharks myself. They let me tag them, hold down a shark and get their fork length and take measurements from them, take different samples from them. It was a really cool opportunity for some hands-on fieldwork science, which was just so cool and so motivating. We got to work with tiger sharks, bull sharks, hammerheads, like things that I never thought I would have my hands on. It was just a very cool opportunity. So. Um, that was one really big vol volunteer opportunity that's kind of always ongoing and um, lots of undergrads can get the opportunity to go because they need lots of volunteers. Another really big volunteer opportunity with marine research is the turtle lab. So I'm not entirely familiar with this because I never did it myself. I do know that they had volunteer opportunities um, pretty frequently to go out and um, monitor sea turtles. So another thing I want to talk about for opportunities for involvement with marine biology from an undergrad standpoint is the Marine Honors Program. It's a really fantastic opportunity once you, you actually have to apply to this program during like whenever you take marine biology and it's usually a cohort of like seven to ten students maybe. When I did it, it was only um, I think seven students but um, a fantastic opportunity for networking. We sat around a table, we discussed papers in uh, marine biology, we would talk about a specific topic and then everyone would go back and get a research article, bring it to the table and kind of re like assess it together. Um, we also did a really cool project where we took a topic which was seagrasses 
and we all got specific research of different problems pertaining to seagrass and then we started coming up with a project to come up with a cohesive infographic all together to um, basically hand out and, and give to the marine lab as a resource for seagrass education. So it was a really cool opportunity for networking, getting some critical review skills in um, science, and also a really great opportunity to form some one-on-one -on -one connections with some really incredible professors because we also had um, professors come in and talk about their research and we got lots of opportunity to just have a conversation with them about their research, why they're doing what they're doing, how they did what they did, um, and, and plenty of opportunity to um, network with them as well. So the research opportunities that I wanna mention, um, the big one that, if you don't remember anything else, fantastic way to get involved with marine research at Florida State University is the UROP program. So the Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program, UROP. It's a program that you apply to your freshman or sophomore year. They teach you how to reach out to professors. You have progress checks to see how you're doing with your research, and you also get to present your research at the end of the program. But it's a fantastic way if you're just like lost in getting involved with research, they kind of like baby step you through the, the whole thing to make sure that you, you get in the lab and you get in a lab that you like and that you actually produce something from it. So another thing you can do as an undergraduate is a directive individual study. So if you are working with a lab and you really have a great idea or the professor just really wants you to take another step further, um, you can do a directed individual study where you basically come up with your own little project and you do it probably over the course of one semester. Typically, um, you can extend it into two semesters. The goal is to get some hands-on research with um, an individual project, and that can turn into an honors in the major thesis as an undergrad. So you can, if you really love some DIS that you're doing, or you're like me and you just skip from zero to 100, you just wanna do a whole thesis, you can do that. So you can turn your DIS into a full thesis and that involves getting a committee of three um, professors and you'll probably already have one if you're working with a professor. So there's one and you just need two more, which it's not too difficult to find. That's how I ended up graduating with honors and I never was in an honors program. So I don't know how this works at other universities. I'm sure there's similar things, but on my transcript, it says I graduated with honors because I did a thesis. Okay, and then the last thing I wanna talk about for this applies really to everyone. Um, if you're a graduate student watching, if you are an incoming undergrad or just interested of the community at um, FSU for things related to marine biology. And my favorite pieces of community were first the Marine Honors Program. That was a really great way to interact with people that have very similar interests to me and very similar drives and morals and passions. Um, that was a fantastic one. Another one was Scuba Club. Scuba Club has a big place in my heart because it was just people from all across the university that just all shared a love for diving. And I ended up finding some of my best friends at the university through this club who happened to also be marine researchers and very involved in research. Great opportunity for continuing to develop that community with um, marine biology. Another thing that is new because we founded it this past year is the Ecological Society of America. If you're very interested in research, if you're very interested in environmental science or marine biology, the Ecological Society of America cannot say enough. It's a fantastic organization and there's now a chapter at FSU and it's a great opportunity for people. It's such a specific niche, people that are interested in um, research, ecology, marine biology, that it's really easy to just be like, is there anyone else even interested in these things or is it just me? I found that Scuba Club, Marine Honors Program, and ESA is where I found those people. ESA was a fantastic one. So um, definitely look into those if you are headed to FSU or you are already there and you're watching this or you're just interested. So I think that's all for this video. I know this turned into like a whole thing, but I really wanted to give a holistic perspective 
of anyone that's interested in getting involved in marine biology at this university because there's just a lot of really fantastic opportunities within it and I feel like like I never knew these things when I was back in my freshman year or like before I even came to the university of what all is out there and I really want to make those things known. So anyway, if you have any questions specifically about the program or just want to talk, then definitely reach out to me on social media. I have those linked in the description below, but otherwise I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for watching.